Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application how to create cascading combo box functionality using Entity Framework. And here we got the final output. The country name India. If I select India, see we got the states of the India: Telangana, Karnataka, and Andhra Pradesh. If I select Karnataka, and city name is a Bangalore. Suppose if I select USA, we got the USA states, California, Texas and New Jersey. If I select Texas, the city name is Austin. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new Windows application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the Windows template, I'm choosing Windows Forms application and the .NET Framework, I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is ComboBox Entity Framework Cascading. Click OK. And here the project is successfully created. Let me expand this form one design page. Now in this form one design page, I'm adding three combo box controls. One is a country and second combo box for the state and the third combo box for the city names. Open toolbox. I'm expanding the all windows forms folder. And here is the combo box. Combo box one, control C, control V. This is a combo box two. Control V again for the combo box 3. After adding the combo box, now I am adding some labels to this combo box controls. Open toolbox again. Label control. Label 1. Control C and Control V. Label 2 and Label 3. Label 1, F4, I am changing the label text to country. Label 2, F4, state, and the last label is a city. That's it, we have done the designing part. Now, the second step I'm adding the ADO.net entity data model into this project. Open Solution Explorer, right click the project name, add new item. I am selecting ADWord.net Entity Data Model and the model name is Cascading Model, add and from the model contents I am choosing the first option AF Designer from Database, next. I'm creating a new connection of the SQL Server. After adding the server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB is my user database. I'm selecting the database name. Test connection succeeded. OK. OK. And here we got the connection string. And I'm saving this connection string of sample db in the app.config file. And the connection string name is a sample db entities. Click next. I'm using entity framework. The version is next. And from the database objects, I'm expanding the tables as well as a DBO folder. For this example, I'm selecting the country, city, and the state. So three tables have chosen country, state and city. Click finish. And here we got the data entity models, country, state and city. Now the next step, the coding part. Switch to the design mode. Double click the form on design page. 
it will generate the form load event now in this form load event first thing I'm adding my connection string name which is a sample DB entities as D is equals to new sample DB entities the first condition I want to bind the country names in the combo box one combo box one dot data source is equals to SD dot the countries dot to list method after that combo box one dot display member is equals to between double quotes C name the column name of the country combo box one dot value member the value member I'm adding the country ID which is a CID the column name CID that's it let's check the output the country names are binded to this comma box one or not start see here we got the output the country combo box one the country names are added in my country table I have only three country names India US and Australia let's check in my SQL database server we check the country name and this is a country table which contains two columns CID and C name CID is the auto generated column and C name is a country name which contains three country names India US and Australia whereas if you notice the state table contains three columns SID, S name and CID which is a city ID and SID is a state ID I'm linking this CID in this state table and if you check in the city table which contains three columns city ID, city name and SID which is the state ID now let's quickly switch over to the coding part we'll finish the rest of the code and stop debugging now my next condition is if I select any country name from the combo box 1 I want to display the state names in combo box 2 of the country name switch to the design mode double click the combo box 1 here we got the combo box selected index changed event the code is int I'm creating a variable CID which is a country ID I'm adding bull data type pass ok is equals to int 32 dot try parse method this try parse method takes two parameters one is a string parameter and the second one is a output result so let's add the first one is a string which is combo box one dot selected value dot to string second one is a out in result so I'm adding it a hot parameter this variable what I'm doing instead of writing the sample db address connection string again I put it in the top I'm declaring a variable state name is equals to from st in sd dot states where st dot cid dot value dot equals method this equals method takes the integer object so I'm adding this integer object cid here select new st dot sid state id name and st dot state name variable combo state is equals to st state name dot to list method to list method if combo state dot count property is greater than zero 
if I select here the country name I want to display the state names of this selected country ID combo box 2 dot data source is equals to is equals to here I'm adding this combo state combo box 2 dot display member is equals to S name copy this one and paste here combo box 2 dot value member is equals to state ID SID that's it now the last requirement we need if I select any state name I want to display that city name of the state again switch to the design mode double click the state combo box 2 instead of writing the whole part I'm just copying this up to here press here I'm changing this to state ID combo box 2 we are getting the values from the combo box 2 state ID variable city name from city sd dot cities is a table name where city dot sid value dot equals I am adding this std city dot city id city dot city name and here the combo variable is combo city city name combo city combo city the display member is a city name and value member is a city id and the last we need to change the combo box control id is combo box 3 combo box 3 and combo box 3 that's it we have done the complete coding part let's check the results start and here we got the final output the country name India if I select India see we got the states of the India Telangana Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh if I select Karnataka and city name is a Bangalore suppose if I select USA we got the USA states California Texas and New Jersey if I select Texas the city name is Austin that's it